In this video, I'm going to share with you how small time reselling on eBay can crush your debt. As little as $100 a month can make a huge difference in how much you pay on your debts. And not in the way you might think. The way debt is structured allows you to leverage that $100 to pay off way more than the $100 you put in. Now, if that sounds crazy, stick with me because the concept is actually pretty simple and you might get angry that you never learned about it in school. And it's called interest cancellation. I'm tying this to eBay because I assume if you're watching this video, you are looking for a way to start earning cash quickly without a huge investment up front, and eBay is a great way to go. The barriers to entry are almost zero. You only need a computer or a cell phone, a printer, a kitchen scale, a few dollars of packing supplies or postage scale to get started. That's all you really need. And you probably have most of this already, some spare Amazon packaging. You've got a cell phone or a computer because you're watching this. And I'm convinced that anybody can make at least $100 profit a month on eBay without trying that hard. For instance, I found this at Goodwill for five bucks. It'll sell for 65, and that was just one trip, one item. So you really have to try hard not to make $100 a month. Now, I know this firsthand because when I first got started with thrifting in eBay, I was doing it with my kids to teach them about money. I figured if they could earn $5 profit on 20 items in a month, that would be huge for them. There's that $100. And the goal, I didn't know if we could make it. I didn't know if it happened. But long story short, we blew past that number almost immediately. We were making several hundred dollars a month in just a few months, and that wasn't even the goal, so we exceeded it. So you can make $100 a month as well. And if you can do that, $300 a month is that not that much more difficult. And if you can get to that point, doubling it is, is very doable, getting $600 or more. Now, personally, I make between $1,000 and $1,500 profit per month selling on eBay, and I have a full-time job, so it's not my main gig. It's just something I do on the side with my kids because we find it a lot of fun, and they are learning about money, and I've used it to pay off some of my debt, student loans. So I know that this works. Okay, before we jump into some numbers and examples, let's talk about a few easy concepts. First, interest cancellation only works with debt that is time-based or amortized. So a 30-year mortgage or a five-year car payment or boat, payment, student loans, motorcycles, things of that nature where you've got a fixed time frame. It does not unfortunately work with credit card debt because that's a completely different structure. So let's go back to time-based or amortized loans. With these loans, you have a schedule of payments over a period of time, like a 30-year mortgage, and a portion of each payment goes to pay your interest and a portion goes to pay your principal or the amount that you borrowed. So let's hop over to the whiteboard to see how this works in practice and how those bankers front load things against you. Okay, let's take a look at an example. But first, my lawyers tell me I need to say, I am not a financial advisor, so this is for educational purposes only. Do your own research and talk with whomever consults with you and whoever you speak with about your financial matters. Educational purposes only. And number two, if you are finding this helpful or interesting, please consider liking and subscribing. I would very much appreciate it as it helps the channel. So let's jump into it with an example. And let's say you are hypothetically looking to buy a $400,000 house, which is the national average for the cost of a house right now. And you're not putting anything down, so it's a $400,000 loan. And you're going to take it out for 30 years, which is standard for mortgages, 15 or 30 years are very standard. And your interest rate, which can fluctuate, but right now it's at 6.2%. So let's say you're locked in at 6.2% for the duration of the 30-year loan. Now that if you check interest rates next month or a year from now, it'll be different, but that's where it is right now. So at 6.2%, 30-year mortgage, $400,000 is what you're borrowing. The bank calculates for you that you will need to pay $2,449.88 every month for the 30 years, and then the house will be yours. Now, that's 360 payments. That's how many months there are in 30 years. And we talk about this as a $400,000 loan, which it is. But when we talk about it that way, it actually hides something that's really important. And that's how much you're really going to pay, because you're not just going to pay $400,000 to pay this back. Got that 6.2% interest in there. So how much are you actually going to pay? Well, let's do a little math. So we already said 360 months in 30 years times your payment of 2000 
$449.88. And that comes out to be, this is what you're actually going to pay on the loan, $881,955.33. That's what you're really going to pay. Almost $900,000. And you're closing in on a million, right? So that extra $481,000 that you're paying in interest for the privilege of borrowing that four hundred, dollars that's the interest. And that's what you're really paying. So we call it a $400,000 loan. It is, but it isn't. It's really almost a $900,000 loan. And so with that, you might be thinking, Eric, how in the world is $100 a month profit on eBay going to help this? And I wouldn't blame you for thinking that because it seems a little crazy almost. But hold that thought, stay curious, and let's put one more layer on our financial cake before we get into that hundred bucks. So let me clear the whiteboard. Okay, so let's take a look at all of this. But first, something to observe. Do you notice that you're paying more in interest than the amount you borrowed? You borrowed 400,000, but you're paying 481,000 in interest. Your interest is more than the actual dollar amount that you're borrowing. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, so now let's talk about how your payment gets broken up when you send a payment in each month. So when you send in your payment, a portion goes to pay off the interest and a portion goes to pay off the principal, the amount that you borrowed. But the bankers are tricky. They front load it so that most of your payment goes towards the interest first and then it gets to the to the principal. And over time, as you go through your mortgage, it oh so slowly shifts from most of it going to the interest to most of it going to the principal. So let's see what this looks like here. So in month one, you send in your first payment of $2,449, right? And this is the interest column, and this is the principal column. Of that $2,449 that you sent in, $2,066 of it goes to the interest. Only $383 goes to your principal. So after you send in $2,449, you still owe $399,617. It only went down, your amount you owe, by $383.21. The bankers are taking their cut first. That's how it's structured. In fact, you have to get down to... Payment number 227, which is your 19, I think, right around there, before your payment is, most of it is going to the principal. So there you are, you're paying interest for the first part of your loan. The vast majority of your payment is going to interest. So let's talk about how interest cancellation works, because this is where we start down the path where the magic happens. So let's say you have to send in your first payment. But then you do something. On top of that first payment that you're supposed to send in, you send in next month's principal of $385. So you're gonna send in a total of $2,835, which is more than what you have to. You sent in your normal payment of $2,449 plus $385. You sent it all in month one. What does that do? That vaporizes the interest because you paid this off. That month is gone. You just shot all of that interest. You don't have to pay that chunk of interest, that $2,069, you don't have to pay now. And now your mortgage is a 29 year and 11 month mortgage because you just canceled one month. Let's say you're really crazy and you say, oh, I really like this idea, let's do that again. So in your first month, you send in your 2,449, you send in the 385 and you send in the $387.18. You pay the principal for the next two months. Do you know what happens? You nuke that interest, you vaporize it. So you sent in $770 extra that you were going to have to pay anyway eventually, you're just paying it up front earlier, $770 extra, and you neutralized, vanished, vaporized $4,131. You nuked this interest, and now your mortgage is a 29 year and 10 month mortgage, you're going to pay off your debt sooner. And that's the magic of interest cancellation. You pay the principal early and it 
knocks out the interest. Now, it doesn't work as well the further you get into your loan. So if you look here at 227, where the switch is, if you pay off the principal, excuse me, the principal here, you knock out this much interest, but it's not as much. And then when you get towards the end of your loan, here's the last two months, only $25 is going to interest, and most of it is going to the principal. So this interest cancellation at the end doesn't work so well. It works fantastic at the beginning of your loan. So let's take it one step further. Okay, one step further, we're going to talk about that $100, because you're probably thinking, Eric, you're just at the whiteboard talking about sending in over $300 a month, but at the beginning of the video, you talked about just $100 extra per month, so what gives? Promise, we're going to talk about that, but first, a couple of things. One, if you're finding this information helpful and interesting, please like and subscribe. It helps me out as a small channel tremendously. It feeds the algorithm and I would appreciate it very much. And number two, if you're finding this helpful and maybe it's making you a little angry that you didn't know it, you should check out the Financial Acumen course. It is a course that talks about interest cancellation in more detail, plus many other topics on personal finance and money, things you should have learned in school, but didn't. So head on over to yourdebtfreefuture.com and take a look. So let's go back to that 100 bucks. So talking about it over on the whiteboard was going to be kind of clunky and cumbersome the way we want to line it out. So what we're going to do instead is hop over to calculator.net and get on the computer screen where we can outline things much more clearly. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are on calculator.net and I've inputted the numbers we've been working with. $400,000 we're borrowing, 30 years, 6.2% interest rate. And what this does is it calculates down here every single month for 30 years how much your interest is going to be and how much your principal is going to be. So that's where I was pulling these numbers from. So it goes all the way down, scrolling down to year 30. And in fact, if we come down here to year 19, payment 227, you can see here that this is where the cross happens, where your interest and your principal um, are basically the same. So that's when you start paying more on your principal than you are on interest. So getting to year 19 there. But let's go back up to the top. All right, so what we can look at on top of this is that you will pay, as we mentioned, $881,000 and, and total interest will be $481,000 and the loan payoff will be November 2054. But if we go ahead and plug in that $100, where does that get us? So let's take a look. So we're going to go here to extra monthly payment, $100. Nice and easy, plug it in, hit calculate, and it runs it for us. We go to the monthly schedule, and now it shows us what our payments are going to be. And you will see here that our interest will, our loan, excuse me, will be paid off in 26 years and 11 months. And we will have paid $32,200 extra, but that's money we have to pay anyway because it's the principal. And we will save $58,000, almost $60,000. Almost $60,000 will be saved by paying $100 a month every month on your loan. And you might say, oh, it's only almost $60,000, Eric, on a loan that's almost $900,000. That's not really that much. Are you thinking that? What if I said I was going to give you $58,000 right now? Does that seem like a lot of money? Well, it's a lot of money if you're saving it too over time. So that's how you can crush it and you're paying it off in 26 years and 11 months. So it's a much quicker getting out from under that debt burden. So I said, if you can do 100, you can do 300, right? It's not that much more difficult. So let's take a look at that. So let's come here, change it to 300. Calculate. Go to monthly schedule and it calculates it for us again. We can see up here now we'll pay off our loan in 22 years and seven months and we will save $138,000, basically $139,000, $139,000 by paying $300 extra per month. And you're going to knock off a little over seven years on your loan. And as I've said before, if you can do 100, you can do 300. I'm confident of that as an eBay reseller. But I also said if you could do 300, you can probably double it. Now, it's getting a little harder to do 600, you know how much time you have and all that, but it's definitely reasonable. 
What's that look like? Plug it in, hit calculate, go to monthly schedule. You cut this close to in half. Now it's only 18 years and four months. You're sneaking up on that half mark and you're saving over $211,000 in interest. Now you've paid an extra $131,400 in extra payments, but again, that's going towards the $400,000 you have to pay off. You don't get out of paying that money. Okay. So that's pretty impressive. And now just for fun, I told you that I do anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500. Let's plug that in. Go on the low side with it, $1,000. Hit calculate, hit monthly schedule, and now we're at 14 years, less than half. And we're gonna save $270,000. $270,000 over that much over the course of your loan and we're going to cut it in half by adding an extra thousand dollars a month and of course this money doesn't have to come from eBay sales it can come from anywhere you have extra money do you, are you spending extra money on lunches that you could cut back on a little bit to get to this because a thousand I recognize that that's not anywhere in the same league as doing a hundred but it's possible. And if you could just do a thousand for maybe the first couple of years, that's where it really makes the impact. It's going to set you far ahead. So I'd invite you to come over to calculator.net, who is not a sponsor at all. Just use the tool and plug in some numbers and start seeing what it can do for you. So that is how eBay reselling can really crush your debt because of the way debt is structured you take advantage of that to leverage small amounts of money to crush large amounts of money so again if you like what you're seeing give me a thumbs up subscribe i'd really appreciate it go take a look at the financial acumen course there's a link down below and comments i'd love to see them and hear what your thoughts are but until next time happy thrifting